everyone if it's morning where you are Monroe still here from fashion still NYC and welcome back to my channel do not forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion beauty lifestyle and travel content I thought I would start another vlog my birthday is coming up soon which is cool I actually went to my first zoom party yesterday my niece turned six my family lives in North Carolina so we all zoomed and it was really really cool oh sorry guys like literally I just woke up today what I wanted to do was shoot some video content for Instagram I've been getting back into doing these cool little styling videos kind of a uh, style based on the characters of sex in the city because that seems to be what everyone is watching while we're here in lockdown i'm gonna do like a carrie style a miranda a samantha and a charlotte i'm also gonna work out today with my girl gloria she went to miami with me and we also went to barbados crop over last year together she's amazing she's also based here in new york so i watch her work out every day on insta story so i i called her up and was like girl let's work out together i also got some cool roses in look at these how gorgeous these are real roses but they've been treated and so they're gonna last for a whole year and they are from the brand glam fleur you can use my code monroe steel capital letters all one word for a discount at glam fleur get yourself some flowers i mean they really just make me happy during this time all right so it is 8 a.m I'm gonna be working out with Gloria at 10, and so I have two, about two hours to shoot. So I'm, I have the best light in the morning, as you guys can see. So what I'm gonna do is my makeup, my hair, because I washed my hair yesterday. And then I'm going to go ahead and film a really quick IGTV video, and then I'll probably save it for my TikTok as well. Yes, I'm on TikTok, guys. Please follow me at Monroe Steel over on TikTok. Lots of fashion styling videos. Hopefully, by the time I'm done with that, I'll just throw on some workout clothes and I will call, I will zoom in Gloria, and then we are gonna work out, and I feel like I'm gonna die because Gloria has an amazing body and she works out every single day, whereas I only work out every other day. And I don't do like really high impact stuff, mostly dancing and then like using my core, but like she really works out. So I'm kind of afraid that I'm gonna die, but I probably need it. <laughs> a quick little beat nothing serious but this is the first look this is very much a carry look I got this dress from Shopbop if it's still available I will put a link down to it below I'm gonna set up and start recording this video and kind of show you guys behind the scenes of how I put these little style videos together <laughs> It's a good hoop earring too. I'm gonna self timer some photos. So Charlotte is like super classic, super Park Avenue princess. So we're gonna go with this Marks and Spencer dress. I wore this recently in a blog post and on Instagram. She isn't really a hoop girl. So we're going to go with these Chanel pearl earrings. 
and I think I'm gonna do my pink Bottegas or my Chanel mules. Let's see how both of them look. I'm also gonna try and like do one photo with all of the outfits with me four times in it. We'll see how that works out. I've never done that before, but I saw a little tutorial on Instagram from Igeo Macola and from my girl Jen. So I'm gonna try it out. This little pink headband maybe. I like it. Yeah, that's that's Charlotte. You could see me kind of in the corner there. Carrie's gonna be in the middle. So we have moved into a Miranda look, a nice little pencil skirt, very business. Maybe we'll do these. I feel like she would definitely wear these. Carolina Herrera earrings. Yeah, that's a Miranda shoe, I think. This is my last look and it is the Samantha look. She loves a peplum. And then I paired it with these Derek Lamb pants. All of the details can be found over on my Instagram, at Monroe Steel. Check it out. That's definitely a, a Samantha earring, no? I think we will do this one. Do I, should I do the snake print one? Is it like too much? Let's do this one. You would have seen this one in my handbag collection video. It's vintage. Definitely check that video out. I like it because she was kind of very professional yet super trendy. Yes, good. All right guys, so it took me about half an hour to record that Instagram style video. I am joining Gloria on a Zoom workout at, at 10. This is the Airy workout set and it comes with this cool little bralette top and matching workout pants. So later on I'll go through and kind of show you how I'm gonna edit this Instagram video. And I find that for Instagram, if you're, you're trying to grow your Instagram, the best thing to do is to post in-feed videos Yes, you will get less views, but you will get more followers versus if you post IGTVs, you will get way more views and like hardly any followers. Trust me on this. I actually wrote a whole blog post about how to grow your Instagram while in social isolation. Literally from March 15th to April 15th, I grew my Instagram by 7,000 followers. And so I wrote a blog post about that if you're interested definitely head over to my blog fashion still nyc and check it out i will put a link to it down below i'll also link this workout set down below in the description box as well i got the size medium if you're interested clean face, nothing but the Super Goop SPF on. The UV rays is not about to get your girl because I am using a ton of vitamin C serums and you have to wear sunscreen even indoors and a retinol like twice a week as well. My skin has been doing really great. Thank you all for watching my skincare video and all of your positive feedback. I really appreciate you guys. I understand I am not an expert. Someone actually sent me something that said I need to stay in my lane and I think that's the problem with people's mentality when it comes to not not only just sharing what's working for you but like securing the bag like do what you guys want to do don't let nobody tell you you have a lane okay because every lane is my lane the left lane the right lane the center lane the whole damn street and a sidewalk too all right how do i get on the zoom <laughs> wait she says she sent me an invite so let's go to my gmail cool Hi. I see your name. I'm not seeing you quite yet. I see your abs. <laughs> they look great. First off, we gotta do three sets of everything. I'm already tired. <laughs> Oh, 
my abs are burning. Do I have any abs? Let's see. Uh, uh, I have some abs. Oh. oh my God, Gloria, you kidding me? You guys, I told Gloria to start a workout class on Zoom. Tell her to do it. I'll put her Instagram at below. She always records her workouts on Insta stories, so check her out. You could probably DM her to work out with you on Zoom calls. How much you charging, Gloria? <laughs> she don't know the price yet, y'all. You know it's real when the sweat is here, guys. You guys, look at my body. <laughs> Gloria was not playing no games. No, we were here to win. It's true. <laughs> and so now I'm gonna hop in the shower and then I'm gonna go ahead and edit that Sex in the City outfit video and kind of take you guys through that with me. Just put on some of this Caudalie Tay de Vigne, nourishing body and hair oil. I love this stuff. The first time I got it was in Paris. And the last time I was in Paris, I bought a ton of them because they smell so good. Let me give you a full view of this dress. It's a cool little around the house dress it's also super like lightweight it's a satin material right now it's time to edit that video so let's do that so normally i use InShot to edit any kind of video content but first i want to try and like get all four outfits on one photo and I think I can do that in Snapseed. I learned that from Igio Makola. She did like a little video on her Instagram. So I'm going to see if I can do the same thing. It took me about 30 minutes to like actually figure it out, but it worked. Super excited. My Instagram video just went live. Really happy with how it turned out. Everyone seems to be loving it. I love when I can like create super cool content like this. So I created, you know, four looks from the Sex and the City characters. And of course, I already knew. It wasn't even up five minutes before someone was like, oh, can you do a girlfriend's version? Why is it that every time anyone does anything Sex and the City, here come the brigade who has to pull out girlfriends. Yes, we all know that girlfriends is the black version of Sex and the City, but let's be real. When it comes to the fashions, what are you gonna do? I am cooking a little blue apron and I know you guys love it when I cook. This is what we're having today. Some seared chicken and kale salad with pear and sesame Dijon dressing. Looks delicious. I have my kale here. All of my little knickknacks ingredients. I have my chicken here. My pears are already cut up. I have some sauce here and I have some carrots here that I just drizzled some olive oil on. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper and toss these and then toss them in the oven.
all right guys so here is my seared chicken and kale salad i actually went with whole chicken instead of pieces and that's my kale salad with pears roasted carrots it has a little bit of lemon juice and then that delicious tahini sauce with dijon mustard lemons pears very delicious and i cannot wait to eat it also new plate from crate and barrel i'll put a link down to it below i love these plates i also got the matching mugs and bowls so so good huh. all right guys ready to eat yum 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 i will check back in with you guys tomorrow to show you a few unboxings and if you have not yet tried blue apron they are delivering on time every week i get my deliveries every monday three meals each meal is enough for two people so i usually save one for like lunch and dinner the next day or something like that but it's been really a godsend during this social isolation self-isolating i don't have to go to the grocery store as often and that is amazing gonna eat and check back in with you guys manana everyone it is sunday april the 26th i am right now uploading the next video to my youtube channel and then i'm going to show you guys some new and beauty products that i got from brands so i decided to put on these really cute sleeper pajamas this was actually a gift from the brand when i went to a sunday riley event i actually think i've i've vlogged that event at the plaza hotel so if you haven't checked that vlog out make sure to check it out i also did a post in these with my girl rose for a brand collaboration but they're super cute they have these little feathers on the sleeves here and then on the hem of the pants too this is a size medium and i think they still have this so i'll put a link down to it below in the description box So my friends over at Avita sent me a beautiful little care package of things to like help me while I'm in isolation. They're so sweet. Thank you so much to, to the Avita team. They always invite me during fashion week backstage to check out their hair collaborations with the designer. So they're amazing. So they sent over some comforting tea. I've actually already had some. It is very comforting and delicious. I didn't even know Avita made tea, but all of their products are all like plant-based and they're very much into being eco-conscious and everything is in recyclable things or things that are made from recycled particles. So love that. They also sent over this stress fix soaking salt which is pretty cool. I'm actually gonna use this tonight. I'm gonna take a nice little bath tonight and I'm gonna use these because my body, my legs are so sore from my workout. They also sent over this Roseberry Mint Invigorating Aroma Candle and this is actually in my room right now burning. I use this beautifying cream cleansing oil this morning when I took my shower and it was just super invigorating and nice. It's a body cleanser. It smells just 
wow, it smells amazing. Last but not least, they sent me two facial cleansers. I've always wanted to try their cleansers. I'm usually really stuck on my Elemis cleanser, but I wanted to try some new ones. And these are great for all types of skin, including sensitive skin. And they, it, they also help to remove makeup and impurities. So I got the Botanicals Kinetics All Sensitive Cleanser. Yeah, I like that. It doesn't have a smell, which is great. And then the Kinetics Purifying Cream Cleanser. And this is for normal to dry skin, removes makeup, impurities, and leaves the skin refreshed. It's almost non-existent and I love that. I love when things don't have like perfumes in them because perfumes can definitely irritate your skin. Special thanks to Avita for sending over this lovely little care package for me. If you guys are interested in any of these products, I will link them down below. Next up, I got a little something from my friends over at Laura Mercier. They keep me laced. You guys have seen all of the amazing beauty products, skincare products, and makeup that they have sent me. Today, they sent over some skincare products. They sent over the Laura Mercier Illuminating Eye Cream and Laura Mercier Hydrating Lip Balm. This is great because my lips actually feel super chat right now. I usually use the Kiehl's Lip Balm, but I didn't put any on this morning. So let's try this. Ooh, I like it. Super soothing, super hydrating, no smell, no minty feeling, just moisture and they also sent over their balancing foam cleanser purifying micellar water and the Laura Mercier the perfect cream multitasking moisturizer it's a hydrating moisturizer sweet thank you so much to the Laura Mercier team. They always send over these cool little storage travel bags too. Last but not least, I got a little something from my friends over at Coco Teak. If you've never heard of Coco Teak, it is a beauty subscription box for women of color. I love what they have on this bag. Social distancing is self care. Protect yourself and others. Love that. Now, as soon as I opened this bag, I saw something that is one of my favorite beauty products of all time and one of my self-care products of all time. The Clean Logic Exfoliating Bath Gloves. You guys, I love these bath gloves. <laughs> I actually used to have like a whole pack of them, but they're so good for exfoliating the skin on your body. You just put them on and you bathe with them. It's really cool. You can gently remove dull, dry, damaged skin with stretch fiber technology. Oh. All right, there is also some bubble bath in here, some foot gel, clinically proven to relieve and improve extra dry skin for dry feet and heels. Also got some Palmer's coconut oil body oil, some shea butter unscented moisturizing bath bar, and then this little thing. What is this? It's called a turby twist. So this is for like covering up your hair either when you're doing your makeup or when you're showering. That's really cool. So we have Scott Bliss, which is an itch calming serum for your hair. If you guys are interested, the brand is Can Be, C-A-N-V-I-I-Y. And then we have some Mongo Kiss Yum Berry Lip Balm. All right guys, so that's what I got in new from my friends at Coco Teak, my friends at Avita and my friends at Laura Mercier. So thank you guys for sending me such lovely care packages while I'm here, self-isolating. These things make me feel better, they do. All right guys, so my makeup is done. I did a really basic look. Literally, it's just like foundation, a little powder, the NARS Dance Fever Lip Pencil. And on my eyelids, I went with this Glossier. It's their new sky wash and they come in like these fun little colors. It goes on liquid and then it dries matte. This color is called Lawn and if you're interested in it, I'll put a link down below. But that's my easy breezy look. 
for today because seriously right after i do these insta stories i'm washing this makeup off good morning insta stories and happy sunday it is sunday so there is a new youtube video up time to set up for my butt my butt first coffee dance if you guys are interested in this little tripod i will put a link down to it below here's my little phone holder that on just like that So here's my lunch slash breakfast because I don't really eat breakfast that often. But I have some French toast, eggs, and bacon. I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper on here and eat. I also got some fresh squeezed orange juice, which is delicious. Trying to stay healthy during this time. Checking out my video to see how it did yesterday on Instagram. Didn't do too bad happy with that so while I eat I'm gonna go ahead and post my stories for today and include a swipe up link to today's YouTube video that's gonna be it for today I think I'm gonna check back in with you guys tomorrow hopefully at some point I'm gonna repot my fiddle leaf plant that's in my bedroom I actually got that plant from Wayfair Wayfair does deliver live plants now so if you're interested in getting yourself a live plant and being a plant mom definitely check them out i will put a link down to the exact plant that i got my fiddle leaf plant down below in the description box all right guys so i hope it's been a fun day following me throughout the, the day seeing how like a work day kind of gets organized and i will check back in with you all another day cheers Good morning everyone. It is Tuesday, April the 28th and I just got finished with a Zoom workout with my girl Gloria. I'm sure I'm gonna get questions about this workout set. It is from ASICS. If I can find it, I will link it down below for you guys in the description box. So today I'm going to try and repot my new fiddle leaf. For some reason the bottom leaves have been falling off ever since I got this plant. I think about four or five leaves have fallen off and it's looking like the roots are starting to come up out of the dirt. So I suspect that it needed to be repotted before it was even sent to me and that just being in transit kind of shocked it and now it's just like, I need a new pot ASAP. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have a planter. So I'm gonna try and put holes in the one that it came in and just take it out of the plastic container and plant it in that until I could probably get to like a Home Depot or a place like that to plant it correctly. I am not a plant expert, literally. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just, these two plants, my white birds of paradise, just happen to flourish under my thumb. This fiddle leaf, we gon' see. The way I learned how to pot a plant was just watching YouTube videos. I just got some regular dirt from Home Depot. I actually still have some, which is great. And I'm just gonna, wing it here it is it's riley some of the leaves are already kind of starting to brown and die as you can see you can see the roots like you shouldn't be able to see the roots i'm going to take it out of this plastic container and just pot it into this pot for now until i can get a better one this is the one it came in it did come packaged quite nicely so let's get started <laughs> So unfortunately, this little potter does not have holes in it. So for now, I'm just gonna create some holes down in the bottom so that when I water it, the water can drain and then I'll just sit it on a plate. So far, so good. Just using some of these tools to burrow in a few holes. So I think this is good. Luckily this plant doesn't need a lot of water. I think I only need to water it maybe once 
every two weeks. It likes very dry soil. So these uh, five or six little holes should be enough for now. So next up, I'm gonna put a little bit of this miracle Grow potting mix into the bottom of this pot. And then I'm gonna cut the plant out of this plastic planter and then transfer it into the pot. So luckily this planter fits this plate that I have exactly perfectly. So I didn't fill it all the way up because I'm gonna keep some of this dirt that it came in. So we'll see, we might have to move this around a little bit. Just getting a good look at the roots. They they don't look too bad. It's definitely still moist from when I watered it like last week. But over here you can see how the roots are starting to grow out of the little hole. So that's not good. It doesn't look too bad. I don't see any bugs. Everything looks really good. I'm just gonna shake off a little bit of this dirt and then transfer it into here. Let's see. Okay, so now I got him in here and now I'm just going to put more of this dirt around the edges and on the top. And I kind of broke it up a little bit as much as I could, but it's pretty bound and it probably, probably likes to be like that. So I don't want to mess with that too much. Looks like it needs a little more. So far, it looks really good. I'm just gonna give it a good watering and we'll see how it goes. It looks like a few of the leaves are already dyed. I'm gonna Google and see if I should just go ahead and take these leaves off or if this plant will prune itself. All right guys, so I have done a workout today. I repotted a plant today and it is barely 9.30 a.m. I feel hella accomplished, like, yes! Anywho, I'm gonna wash the dishes because as you can see, I've been slacking. So we are going to, we, me and you, we're going to wash those dishes. Then I'm going to take a nice hot shower because I smell rank, y'all. I was really sweating during that workout. Dishes are done, getting ready to hop in the shower, but first I wanna light some candles so that when I get out of the out of the shower, my apartment smells nice and rich and refreshed.
just finished with my shower. I put on my sleeper linen pajama set. I need to wax my stash. So yeah, I have just a tiny little stash, guys. I mean, the hair is so fine, but you can kind of tell like this area of my face is already darker anyway. And so I have some Flamingo face waxing kits, strips, and calming serum and wax cloths. So I'm just gonna do that really quickly before I make my coffee for the day. I really wish I had some of the bigger strips left. They have body strips as well for my bikini line, but I ran out and I really hate waxing my bikini line. Waxing is the devil <laughs> for my bikini line, but I mean, that's what I have to do. I guess I need to order some more of these so I can do my own waxing at home. So as you can see, there's this little wax strip here and all you have to do is kind of rip it apart like that i'll just use one for now so i'm just warming up the wax you're gonna pull from this end up pull this in taut and whoo that's good. You guys want to see the hairs? They're so tiny. Would that be gross if I show you the hair? It probably would be. But there's just a tiny bit of little tiny hairs on here. They usually grow like right here around my lip. Let's do the other side. All right, we are all done. Let me make sure I just get a little bit more around here. around here they're nice and sticky too the wax is really good and it doesn't irritate so now we have this post wax cloth that I'm gonna use it kind of just like calms down the area because you know it's gonna be like a little red a little irritated but this cloth is really good so not only does the cloth soothe it also gets rid of the extra wax. Very nice. We are done. Flamingo is great, by the way. I love their razors too. If you're interested, I will put a link down to the kits below, the one for the face and the one for the body, and you can check them out. Smooth as a baby's bum. Let's put on some sunscreen. I absolutely love super goop sunscreen by the way i feel like it's the best sunscreen because it doesn't break me out most sunscreens do it doesn't give me that crazy looking film and it's moisturizing so it's great <sighs> time for coffee here thank you so much for taking the time out of your day or night to watch this video i appreciate you all so much i hope wherever you are in the world that you are safe and you're healthy and if you can please stay home if you are an essential worker thank you so much for your contribution to keeping society going i appreciate you and I thank you. Everything that I have worn, that I've talked about, that I've shown you can be found down below in the description box. If you have any questions, please do drop them down in the comments. And I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Don't know what that's gonna be. Maybe it's gonna be a vlog. Maybe it's gonna be a haul. We shall see. All right, guys. Love you. Stay safe. See you guys soon. Bye.